Good morning, classmate, and good morning to our beloved professor, Ma'am Jackie Gaspay. I am Mary Andy Orhel from BE Ed 11. I will continue the report about the modern world system as a capitalist world economy by Emmanuel Wallerstein. First, I will continue discussing about the capitalist world system. The capitalist world system is based on two full division of labor in which different classes and status groups are given differential access to resources within nation states. And the different nation states are given differential access to goods and services on the world market. Both those within and those between nation states are very much distorted by power. The next one is peripheral states. Peripheral states. Wallerstein divides the capitalist world economy into core states, semi peripheral and peripheral areas. The peripheral areas are the least developed, they are exploited by the core for their cheap labor raw material, and agricultural production. The next one is semi-peripheral state. The semi-peripheral area are the somewhat intermediate being both exploited by the core and take some role in the exploitation of the peripheral area. In the recent past, they had been expanding their manufacturing activities, particularly in products that court nations no longer find very profitable. The next one is court states. The court states are in geographically advantaged areas of the world, Europe and North America, these court states promote capital accumulation internally through tax policy, government purchasing, sponsorship of research and development, financing infrastructural development such as sewer, roads, airport, all privately constructed but publicly financed, and maintaining social order to minimize class struggle. Court states also promote capital accumulation in the world economy itself. These states had the political, economic, and military power to enforce an equal rate of exchange between the court and the periphery. It is the power that allowed courts, states, to dump and shape good and peripheral nation, pay lower price for raw materials than would be possible in a free market, exploit the periphery for cheap labor, dump in their environment, abuse the consumer and workforce, erect trades barrier and quotas establish and impose patent. It is the economic 
political and military power of the court that allowed significant capital to be accumulated into the hands of the few. The capitalist world system that produced and maintains the gross economic and political inequalities within and between nations. Here is the map of the world economy based on Emmanuel Wallerstein. The orange shaded region where the court states. Next are the yellow shaded region which are the semi-peripheral states. And the last but not the least is the green shaded region which are the peripheral state, there are the areas which are least developed. Our country belongs to this kind of state. The capitalist world system. As which capitalism within the nation state, this unequal power between nation states is not uncontested. It is the subject of struggle. There are internal contradictions that with the passage of time cause political and economic instability and social unrest. Eventually, according to Wallerstein, a worldwide economic crisis will be reached and the capitalist world system will collapse, opening the way for revolutionary change. Thank you and God bless. That end our report about the modern world system as the capitalist world economy by Emmanuel Wallerstein. I will now turn you over to the next report.